Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this video, or video, somebody sent me this graphic, and they're having trouble welding it together, and I'm a little bit confused yet, but I'm going to make it all in, they want it all one piece to cut out on vinyl, and they also said they're not through, they're going to add some more, so if we take the smart, first of all, before I ever smart fill anything, I'm going to take a rectangle and put a room item take the smart fill tool and one of the guns leaks and this part isn't going to be part of the gun and then I mean his nose and cavity and eye cavity are fine but if you wanted all one piece and the reason some of it won't weld is that there's double lines in some of this and you know, so to make it all one piece, we just got to delete that, delete that, and delete this so it will go in there. Now, if you still want it all one piece, you're going to have to take one of these nodes. And the weld, and I'm going to find the spot in just a second. I've already gone through this one. Um, the spot has double lines, and so that's why it won't weld. And we can get rid of that. And the weld, the weld tool will get rid of all that bumpiness, but we can get rid of that node and bring it down there, get a little closer. Now, I don't know what his plans are, but he wants it all one piece, and, well, you can't have it all one piece, because there, there's parts of the nail gun that aren't, um, you know, they're going to be two pieces, but if you want the eye cavities in the, in the drawing, I would just take this outer eye cavity and just whip it over here. Of course, you'd want to do a better job. And what I'm doing is I'm just creating a place for the smart fill tool to leak into. Normally, we don't want it to leak, but when you're doing the smart fill tool, you want it to leak. And I'm just going through here, and yet I've yet to find that double line I saw earlier, and that's why it wouldn't weld. Now, I don't know what to do on the nose cavity. I mean, now we got it where See the eye and that other part uh, leaks, and um, and you can see the other problem right here with these lines. Uh, you don't want any lines on the inside, and then this is just personal preference, which well you're going to take that all out, and to, to get it to leak. Now we got a major leak. Uh, well. It's getting out through somewhere that I've deleted. Um, just like this, part of his face, part of his teeth need to be, whoop, maybe delete that. And I think I remember with the double line. Well, here's a double line right here. You can see it. And it's a whole different, you know, it's a whole Scenario, we click on this, look at the blue dots, light up. So there's two double lines right here. And that's, a lot of times it, stuff won't weld because of that. So we could do one of two things. We can just delete through there, delete through there, take the shape tool. And let's uh, right click and break that apart. Right click and break that apart. Take the shape tool and just grab that and delete it and just contain the, this line down to here. Of course, when you do that, you want to look at your whole structure. And then I don't particularly understand this, but we'll, you know, uh, virtual segment delete key. You know, and I, I keep calling it a key. It's not really a key. It's a delete knife. But to make it all like go into this part, like this is a separate part. So there's a couple of things we can do and you can, you can make it look like the nail gun itself. Um, I'm thinking we need to take a rectangle and just put it like in there and kind of mimic the, the throw. And then just, I would, we're gonna have to do on the other side so I'm gonna make a duplicate 
move it out of the way. And we want it to um, swipe through here. No. We want those thin lines to be there. Because now, when we take the Smart Fill tool, well, and also he's going to evidently add something down here. So I'm going to draw a line from there to there, maybe. And there you go. Uh, see that now it's leaking into that gun, um, into the, where the nails are actually are. And then what you can do, you can mirror that and try to get it close. Do the same thing over here. Um, I wish I would now, wish I would have turned the whole thing into a wireframe. Or not a wireframe, but a... a um, Hairline, so we could, because then you could see it. Now, both the guns are working, everything's together except for his uh, cavity and his nose. And, you know, a couple little places. But if he's going to cut it out, um, I don't know that he wants all the pieces touching. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through this, take the shape tool, and just let's put it right down the middle. Kind of give it some flair. So we're going to join these two pieces together. But we still need, you know, this part. And, you know, maybe this would look pretty cool if we take the, just bring it over a little bit, bring it over a little bit, and then take and swipe through there. That doesn't have to be even, that eye is connected, that eye is connected. So this is all connected. He maybe not want it all connected, so he doesn't have to do everything I'm doing. You know, you could, you could do several ways here. Just maybe even bring that down. Now all that's connected, with the exception of this one. Shape tool, just bring that over. Swipe through the line. There's another one. Uh, I'm just going to delete it for right now. Um, well, you know what? Let me take it back. Let me see what it looks like. Maybe it'll just be a hole. Yes, it'll just be a hole. So the black is vinyl. And I don't know what to do about the teeth. Let's let's back up here. Let's, uh, I'm just going to guess here. And let's just take, that was kind of a twisted nose. Tell you what, grab both of them, bring them up. Maybe add a node by right-clicking. And by doing this, we probably need to, we're probably going to have to delete this line. Nope. Maybe that's not what we want. We'll see what it looks like when we fill it in. The Smart Fill tool actually shows you a lot. I think there's one more tooth, and we could probably add it from the top. And this, I apologize for the one I'm trying to help. This might not be anything you wanted. So here's a, a, a double line uh, right here. Double nose. A lot of times it just isn't going to weld if you have two lines. Now, normally you would close these nodes if you were going to cut it, but the Smart Fills tool is going to do that. I think we have it. Well, there's one part right here that we, I saw earlier. And right here, look at this. This is a twisted node. And I'm going to just hit delete. And, and then, you know, of course, you could go back and delete um, stuff. Now, keep our fingers crossed. I have to back up. I guess there's nothing... Well, there's something leaking, right? Well, it's probably the circle. Um, we're not getting any... Part of the box is leaking. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, could be right there. Maybe not. Take that note away. I saw that earlier. Um, oh, see all the nodes locked up? There's a leak right there. So just take that. 
I'd actually just take out those nodes. They're not doing you any good. Uh, one more little spot that's all locked up, but it seems to be okay. Now let's take the Smart Fill tool. Keep your fingers crossed. Voila. Now, I don't really understand this. Um, you know, the box is separate. So we need to either... Um, I don't know what he's going to have in the box. You know, that's the only kind of problem I have with helping people is I don't I don't know what their plan is exactly. See here's two sets of well I just drew that one but two sets of line. Um, let's see what's going to happen. Yeah I don't know what we're going to do with that tooth maybe do that. There we go. I don't know what the original drawing is. And if you wanted another tooth there, um, you could just take your, see there's a broken node big time. You could take that down there and take that pretty close to there. And now you should have the resemblance of a tooth. Now, smart fill, take the smart fill away left click right click make sure it's a hairline to cut out that'll all cut out and be all on one piece of vinyl now i know nothing about vinyl you know in metal this would be a no-no because it's hanging over uh, but you could actually join those because uh, there's a you know this this is all being suspended by that but i think on vinyl cutters you know, that's probably acceptable. Anyway, I hope I helped him. Thank you for watching.